Hello everybody, welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And, um, yeah, uh, well, yeah, the truck first off, it's the uh, XPS Auto Car as, um, I guess, continued by uh, Hateru, Hateru, and uh, Hateru, <laughs> and um, I did a, now this is a funny one because I can't figure it out, the uh, paint job, when you do a paint on it, the template I'm using has two sides, a left and a right, or, you know, in top view, the whole back view, the sleepers, whatever. It's got all the normal views. But it is only reading one half of the template. It reads the driver's side of the template. So in other words, you can draw both sides of the truck. And I figured this out because I'm trying to make changes on the passenger side of the truck. And I go back and look at the truck in game and there's no change. I'm thinking, oh, man, that's just weird. So I just disabled that uh, layer that had the passenger side and go back and look at the truck in game and it's got a passenger side so it's just drawing the you know it's like projecting the the driver's side right through to the passenger side and what that does is it puts writing or if you have any writing on script it's backwards on the other side of the truck and i just don't know what's going on there so anyway i want to do a paint job that had no writing so I thought, well, why not make one of these um, paintable ones? So this is an old school skin that I'd done for the truck. And I just made it four color paintable. So you can paint the little stripes and the thicker stripes and the top and bottom colors. And so this is what I came up with. So that's why we're driving this. And as for the locale, it's Walker's Farms. But it's got a new building here. And this is a work in progress from uh, Recon, and that's going to change yet again. And um, there's going to be a different shed over there, and it's going to try and look, make it look a little bit more like the actual Welker farm. So, uh, without further ado, let's get moving. We're uh, heading out to uh, Billings, Montana, and we've got a new load on here from Shadow uh, Darkness. <laughs> Shadow from darkness and it's a case 620 uh, quad track and very nicely nicely done that's awesome good looking tractor so we're gonna see this all over uh, the map soon too I'm sure <laughs> courtesy of recon so let's uh, get ourselves underway here yeah let's throw the beacons on uh oh what motor have I got in here? It stalls so easily. Oh, it could be the 3406. I could explain it. Yeah, that's what it is. I keep saying I'm going to look at that torque curve, and I never do. So, my own fault. Oh, torque curve? Wait a minute. I want to show you guys something. Hang on something new in 146 options uh, game preferences get down to the truck drive shaft torque it's a slider now so you can dial in the amount you want so that's new just noticed that uh, just probably 15 minutes ago when I was in here setting the realistic fuel consumption and air brakes so let's see how that works we got our slammed all the way up let's oh that's pretty extreme we'll have to see what it's like when we're on level ground and we don't have the effect of the uh, train rock and the truck all over we might want to run that a little lower than what that was Oh, here's something else new. Have a look here on the right. An auger wagon. That's so cool. Brent, auger wagon. So that's nice to have something actually hooked up behind a tractor. Instead of, you know, we see tractors, we see combines, we see, you know, what, did they do anything? Well, heck yeah, that one's got an auger cart. Getting ready to come up here and help this guy uh, unload uh, some grain whenever he gets going again.
really, really, really hard to get a color of yellow that looks decent in this game. So as the sun comes up, this is going to wash out a little more. And it'll start to look worse and worse and uh, not much we can do about it. Cool truck though. And I like the interior on it a lot. Jake should be one, one of those switches on the... Oh yeah, there it is. The red light beside the red light down there. out here and get a handle on this torque thing. Oh, that doesn't seem too ridiculous. I think it was the uh, terrain was throwing the truck around. The uh, tensicometer is accurate, that's nice. are pretty good. 130, 140. So, boy, that last video, the frame rates were hurting with that uh, classic XL. I'm going to have to do a little experiment with that truck. I know the rear of trucks are hard on frames, but that was crazy. place to take a photo and they're going slow. Too bad about the yellow paint, man, that really bugs me. I increased the uh, likelihood of rain, hoping that it would darken the sky up a bit and uh, it'd start to look better, but the sky looks pretty blue to me. Yeah, the old auto car. So this uh, truck is, uh, uh, it's a fr free uh, from Hateru. The only truck he charges for is the uh, FLC that I'm aware of. I'll have to, uh, I've had it for a while now and I forget how I got it. Um, I think it was a link in one of his videos, uh, but I'll try and sort that out and put a link to the truck. Uh, game here. 
And this skin, uh, I'll probably try and get this up on Steam at some point too. This changeable color skin. I'm still running with the low boy with the, with the mods. I'm just doing a single this time. That it kind of suited the truck and the fact we don't need, really need a double for this uh, weight attractor. A little more realistic. Oh, hopefully we don't get pulled in here. No. Let the wave around. Hold on there. Hold on. Hold on. There. Out of boy. So I've been working on that um, Colton Thompson that that skin for his uh, black glass, that SRV uh, uh, road freight services. I think it was from Australia, uh, New Zealand or Australia. I think it was Australia. I'm working on that skin that I did. Now that was one of the more difficult skins I've ever done in terms of just time because it has so many little pinstripes on it like all the panel stripes going around and tons of it So we have the um, the mods on the low boy again, the revamp pack, and Larry A's uh, mud flaps. Thanks again, Larry. Buffalo there. Huh. Hunter's Lodge. Let's have a look at the torque from the standstill here. Yeah, I'd say uh, the slider far right was probably the same as just activating it before, so... Not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> Man, I was telling myself to take that Jazzy's classic car pack out of the game and I didn't. Here we are, stuck behind them. Two of them. Not sure what's further up ahead there. This 
could be Malta coming up. I don't think I don't think we get a passing opportunity here. Oh no, this it's not Malta. Chinook. Oh, he's turning. Praise the Lord. Yeah, it's a good looking cargo, that's for sure. A lot better than that uh, green thing. <laughs> Wherever that was supposed to be. Oh, and uh, you know, the, the uh, one of the viewers, uh, a couple of them commented on, uh, one asked a question and one answered it. It was about the, uh, oh, it was the guy again. He had that cargo pack. The, the different increased loads for the low boys and stuff and uh, we had a trolley car on there and um, oh here comes the train before we let's count the cars on it if we can without crashing oh this is looking impossible oh uh, I'm not gonna bother <laughs> I'm gonna wipe somebody out uh, there was more than 12 there, I think, anyway, around 12 or more. I think 12 is the most I've seen. Anyway, getting back to the cargo. Um, yeah, what was going on was somebody mentioned to seeing the trolley car on the low boy in traffic up ahead of me, and just as I slowed down to pull off, I believe that was slim. And um, a fella answered uh, that it was... Yeah, oh, Eddie Yance, I think, his... Uh, cargo pack and you know the other day we pulled into a yard we were, picked up a load and the uh, dro modding low boy was across the way with that John Deere uh, articulated tractor and uh, I strolled over and had a look at it and sure enough there was no load binding it was just sitting on the deck and that kind of spoils it and then uh, I was just, I mentioned that Recon had told me about that. I was talking to Recon tonight, and uh, he said, uh, yeah, that uh, we, we were looking at the new cargoes. By the way, there's a bunch of new cargoes, and some of them look really good. And uh, the detail has been increased or enhanced. And we're looking through the cargo market just to see what was going to be new in Texas. And um, so anyway, long story short, Recon says, oh yeah, that Eddie Yance, that, that was one of his loads showed up because I have him in my pro, my mod profile. And he said, notice there's no load binding. And I go, oh no, no, not again. So sure enough, we look through all those cool loads from Mr. Yance and there's no load binding. So I pulled that mod out. And I mean, it's cool hauling neat stuff around, but unsecured. I guess I don't have a double low boy on here. Don't need to take such a wide corner. Welcome to Malta. Go straight. So the uh, drop off should be down there to the left for the. Yeah. That's uh, Recon Smalta. Buy and sell point for grain. Yeah, some of the stuff, speaking of grain, that uh, Recon has planned for Welker Farms is pretty cool. But I'll, I'll wait till it comes out, but just, there's more to it than just the shed. And a few other things, there's going to be some nice changes. thing I went down and had another look at Texas because there was another update just just today I missed when it happened because I was away from my computer most of the afternoon 
perhaps sometime in the afternoon, my time. And I flew down to Texas to have another look. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to stick with the third. Thursday the third. I think that's the day. And I bet you, uh, well, I was going to, I was going to say, I would have said 146 is going to drop real soon. And, uh, recon is saying this weekend. But, uh, yeah, it could be pretty soon. Because, I mean, that's two updates in three days now. And, uh, I don't know. We got this change to the torque thingy. Uh, so you can adjust it. So that's new. Yeah, I think a bunch of little tweaks. There'll probably be something else come... Like when it, when it goes, uh, when 146 drops, there'll probably be more neat stuff too that we're not seeing yet in the beta. It'll be interesting. Because I know that when the uh, final version of the game drops, there's always still tweaks going on afterward. And after a DLC, or sorry, a, a version drops, you usually get a a few uh, updates in quick succession. I don't expect that to be any different here. But Texas is looking good. Man, I'm telling you. You can see, you know, every time I go down there, there's a little bit more. A little bit more. Looks good out the window. This is a great DLC. There's still people sitting on the fence on it. Texas is about to come out. I'm glad this hurry this job isn't urgent because these guys are sure lollygagging along up ahead here. We we'll get lucky and they'll turn off again. There's an intersection here. Oh, if I was thinking I could have. Oh, well, we got rid of that guy. Billings 113. This uh, truck, uh, this update by Hateru, it's got some pretty good features. There's a bunch of, uh, I think, six, six different interiors. It's kind of neat. I don't think there's a lot of options when it comes to the dash. But the uh, GPS works, that's nice. Yeah, so Z mods 3406. Pretty good motor, and I, I like putting it in the old trucks because it sort of fits. The 3406 B, of course. Like the
Mercury 406E would be slightly out of place. I believe it's the E when they went to all the electronic controls. The uh, B is straight mechanical engine. Mechanical fuel injection. But yeah, I remember when these engines came out and it was like, you can get 425 horsepower? <laughs> it was a four and a quarter cat, man, that was the thing. Twelve hundred foot pounds of torque. And fourteen hundred. Mind boggling. <laughs> Now you need that just to drive it out of the driveway and feel okay about it. Sucking around all the stuff there. Oh, it's all the satellite dishes there. LTL 9000. Oh. Rear end of baby bird. That was nice driving under those trees. I grew up on a dirt road when I was a kid, but uh, we had big uh, hardwood uh, elm trees. Uh, and they formed a canopy over the road. Yards, turn right. Oh, oh. And uh, it was sure beautiful. Oh, this is a four way stop. Turn right. Look at that guy rolled right through. The McDonald's dude. Wow. And this guy. What the heck? What's going on here? They like, got roll the stop signs, but I don't blow through them. <laughs> oh boy. At least there's somebody behaving worse than I am. The other truck I want to do a bit more with, uh, uh, maybe we'll get it out in a video soon is the um, uh, Marmon 57P that I got from uh, HFG. I think this truck has a lot more finish to it though. I think this is a much more complete mod. Very nice truck. Nice. Like I say, I got to figure out how I got it, and uh, it's definitely from Hederu. There's a link somewhere to it on his Facebook, maybe. It's either a link to it in his Facebook or a link to it in one of his videos. Either way, I'll figure it out you guys a link. Oh, we're really close to Billings now. I think it's just going to appear around this corner.
looks like up ahead at some point. We'll get over there now. Corvair. You watching, Brian? <laughs> Go straight. Yeah, it's got different tank options and steps, and this is as long as the wheelbase gets on it. It's kind of too bad, but... There's a police officer right there. Don't. Sixteen miles to go. like a home garage right there so yeah Billings um, because of that uh, TX underscore chems prefab uh, recon had to abandon the Billings thing for now and so the Billings cold storage and everything is kaput for now it'll be back and it's gonna be back better than ever as uh, recon has some pretty big plans for it to improve it over what it was. Turn around when possible. Oh, I thought. Oh, don't. Turn around. What we got behind us here? Oh, what's in there? That's probably big enough to back into. I thought it was kind of cool that we were going to come down this road, unexpected, but that's me taking a wrong turn. Oh man, now the police want me. See how this yellow paint starts to look pretty bad when the uh, sun comes out.
where we're going. Not a little further. Stock exchange. What are they gonna do with the big quad track here? Well, well, I guess that's gonna be up to them. Look at that big butt up there, that challengers. Well, I guess they obviously got a need for big tractors here. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. Oh, this is... Maybe not going to work out going in this way. I think we better hairpin her around. We're going to be backing in from out this way. Oh, those cops are still chasing somebody out there. Well, we should try a little high speed reverse here. Let's bring the range. Okay, splits back. Remember, don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> Get yourself in a world of hurt with this high speed reverse and stuff. this. Oh boy. Oh, we just avoided disaster there. All right. Mission accomplished. <sighs> Safe and sound. Press the following key to unload the trailer. Roger that. 84 gallons. Wow. Good payday cover some of that fuel cost see in here in indoor lights that yellow looks really great almost looks like cat yellow and uh, you get it out in the, the daylight and man can't wait to the day that is fixed because as a guy who likes to do skins um, there's all of the lighter colors like blues lighter blues there's certain shades of blue you can't do uh, orange it's out of the question uh, yellow. Yeah, it's just a real bummer. And like, you know, look at that. It's just from what we were looking at inside. We get around here in the shade. Looks great. You go around here. Yikes. Big bummer. Anyway, hey, um, yeah, I went over 800 subscribers today. That was kind of big news. And uh, thank you guys for making that happen. It's uh, pretty epic. So onward and upward. And um, I really appreciate it, and um, to those of you who have managed to get through this far and not subscribed, well, give it a thought, and uh, if you're so inclined, do so, and if not, well, that's, that's <laughs> it's your deal, man. Anyway, you guys, take care, appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.